Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how you can create a custom announcement bar that should be sliding. Currently on my screen you can see that I have this Shopify store and on the top I have a custom announcement bar that is sliding from bottom to top that means down to up or maybe we can also convert the direction from up to down and we have also the possibility to click on arrows and it also moves and one more option is that we can actually slide this from left to right as well so this is one of the best feature we uh, have created right now so you can use it I have added the link below in the description just copy and paste the code and that's it so let me show you all the steps which you need to follow so that you uh, try to implement it on yourself without uh, getting any kind of help from any uh, developer all right so let me delete this first but before that let me uh, show you uh, features here you can see that I have the option of showing that announcement bar or maybe hiding that announcement bar we have the possibility to auto play or maybe manual play for example uh, currently I have enabled the auto uh, disabled the auto play so that means when you are clicking on this uh, arrow then it will be sliding otherwise it will not and then we have another option which is direction so currently I have selected vertical if you have selected horizontal then it will slide from right to left all right we have also the delay that is 3000 for example and if you want you can actually make it 5000 milliseconds or maybe more and we have the possibility to change the background color here you can see that I have the option to select the color so this is the best option which you can use as well so color of the text you can also change and these are the things which you can implement over here so let me show you all the steps which I have actually created first of all you need to download the uh, code I have downloaded already so here you can see that this kind of zip file you will be getting you should right click on it click on extract here then you will be getting a folder here standard announcement bar inside of it I have two uh, files one is documentation so you need to follow the documentation here you can see that the first step is create a new section named custom dash announcement dash bar dot liquid so let's follow that step so let me click on action then edit code then we have layout templates sections so you need to go to the sections folder and inside of sections you have a custom dash announcement dash bar I have already added but let me delete this uh, file I have deleted it now I am going to create a new one because uh, here in the steps we have already mentioned that uh, you need to create a custom dash announcement dash bar so I am going to copy this name and let me create a new section uh, click on add a new section then paste that name then click on done so you can also modify the name if you are getting any kind of error so let me add it here custom dash announcements dash bar then click on done and it will create a file here you can see that I have this file now custom dash announcements dash bar dot liquid now we need to follow the second step the second step is paste the code of the downloaded file so that means the file which we have downloaded that is standard customer custom announcement bar inside of it the whole bunch of code you need to copy it and then paste it inside of it but before that you need to remove everything from here and then paste it here with the latest code then click on save once you, once you saved the changes then you need to cl close this file and again you need to go to layout then you need to go to theme.liquid and here you need to find one line of code that that is section announcement dash bar you need to comment this out so for commenting it you can also use control forward slash so that will automatically put the uh, comment that is angular bracket uh, sign of exclamation uh, dash dash and then dash dash uh, bracket close so this is one thing that you need to do now you need to copy from here from the documentation here we have this line of code that is percentage section custom announcement and that you need to paste just above this uh, line that is custom dash announcements dash bar 
so actually i have added additional s because i was getting an error so you need to uh, also write here custom dash announcements dash bar because uh, if you will see the section uh, folder and inside of it we have custom dash announcements dash bar dot liquid so the same name you need to mention here then you need to click on save changes once you saved the changes then you need to create that custom bar so here you can see that I have let me refresh this page again so once you are refreshing this page then you will be getting a new section on the top so that section name is announcement bar that will already exist but these features would not be available these are the custom features which we have just created so if you are clicking on show then that custom announcement bar would be reflecting on the top and if you, if you are clicking on autoplay then it will autoplay if you are clicking on horizontal or vertical so it will slide automatically horizontally or vertically and if you can reduce that uh, value of these seconds milliseconds you can also do that so here we have the background color so for example I am adding here red color and then after the text color should be white and then so once you have done all these settings then you can actually add the message here click on add message then click on this message and here you can write anything you want for example 10% discount for US customers so this text would be reflecting on the top alright so in the same way if you want you can add one more additional message so here in the message you can also uh, write here like 50% 40% discount on new orders so this is another thing so same way you can actually click on save the changes and, and once you are saving these changes then you need to refresh this page again and here we go now you can see that on the top we have the sliding announcement bar that is sliding from right to left but if you are changing the setting but here you can see that if you are clicking on this arrow then you can slide from left to right or right to left and if you want you can actually modify from here like horizontal to vertical if you are clicking on save the changes and then you need to refresh this again and now it must go from bottom to top up down sliding you can see here all right so that means we are able to implement uh, the sliding from left to right and top to bottom so this is one of the best thing which we have solved right now and another thing is if you are uh, seeing it in your uh, in your mobile view now you can see that the arrows are removed from here all right so how we can actually add the arrows if you are interested to add these arrows you can also use them otherwise these are automatically sliding and you have no need to click on arrows so let me show you how you can uh, update the arrows so on the custom dash announcement dash bar here you can see that we have uh, one additional CSS which I have already added here that is display none so if you are interested to these are actually a button next and button previous so if you are adding here block then it automatically display the arrows on the Shopify store here you can see that if I am refreshing this page you can see that the arrows are reflecting here all right so this is looking beautiful so whatever is your choice you can do it according to your choice all right so this is one of the best thing if you are still facing any issue or something like that you can contact me I will definitely help you out with solving all this stuff this is super easy and if you are not a developer then don't worry I will help you out with all the stuff so feel free to connect me if you have any problem with this thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video thank you once again see you in the next video